Hello, my pretty gamers. Today we are playing one of my favorites. Oops. <laughs> Good old Earthworm Jim on the Sega Genesis. Now this was released on a lot of systems, but this is the one I own, so... We're gonna do this, though. We're gonna turn it on easy. Practice? Normal. Now let's go practice so we can actually see how far we can get on this. Because I, <laughs> I don't know... New Junk City. Look at this guy. So this comes from an era where animation was amazing. Like, they did these... Let me look at this. <laughs> Cal's like, what's going on right here? There's a lot of secrets in this game, too. Let's see it. So, if you saw that little moose head, I'll show you that one. Ah, messed up. Okay, maybe not. Let's just go. So, the story of Earthworm Jim. You know, I don't really know. <laughs> oh. So there's a princess that got kidnapped and Jim's going to save her. I don't really know the whole story of it all. Yippee. My daughter actually got me this game. And uh, Earthworm Jim 2. She knew I liked it, and I had it years ago, and, you know, life happens, and you lose stuff, and next thing you know, when your kids come home and have Earthworm Jim and Earthworm Jim 2, and you're like, oh, I love these guys. A little hook here. Nope. See that little hook right there? It sparkles. You can whip it. No, no, no. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Let go of me. I'm trying to eat me. Freaking crows and worms. I like games that don't take themselves too seriously. Like, why not? This game is so popular. He got a cartoon out of this. That oh, was awful. Uh, action figures, uh, lunchbox, you know, all the cool stuff in the 90s that we love so much. Get that. Oh, yeah. So the Sega Genesis version is really gritty. Uh, Sound-wise, it's it's got like a little funk to it. Oh crap! Ow! He bit my butt. There we go. The Super Nintendo one, it sounds a little cleaner, but at the same time, it kind of, it's missing something, I think. A little, little Junaise Zikla. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Don't know where I'm going. I think I gotta go here, and then here, and maybe here. Oh. Oh, dang, he hit something. Okay.
Got him. <laughs> Very cool. One thing I noticed on the Super Nintendo version is the sun in the background it actually has a lighting effect. Oh, this is the boss. Oh, oh god, you can fish on me. Oh, ow. Okay. I think we gotta dodge this first. There we go. And then hit that. There, that's how you do it. Wait for this thing. One of the nice things about Earthworm Gym is there's no timer. So you can't uh You can't you can't you can't run out of time exploring and I like I like that. Oops. Dude. Is he burping fish? It is. It is absolutely fish. Oh, I missed. I love video game bad guys. He's all like, this guy keeps hitting me in the butt with a box. Let's give him another one. Okay. Here we go. And the asteroid. Oh, the asteroid. So you race against this guy here. Let me see. I remember how to do this. There we go. And you collect these little orbs for whatever reason. And you get to do this after you beat every level. It takes you to the next world, I guess. Ah, oh, missed it. So the crow, if he beats you, uh, you lose the life. You have to beat him to the next world. Uh, you beat him by collecting these little power-ups and these uh, boosters. You can use the uh, thing to deflect rocks. Like, you can run into a rock, which I haven't yet. I'm not going to. Well, I will, but not on this level. Hopefully. Yeah, we did it! Time to celebrate. Hey. <laughs> Goodness, we're gonna need that. Uh, think about Earthworm Jim. There's no save. You have to do it all in one go. Like there's no, there's no code. Oh yes, we are in heck. See the devil cat back there. just stopped. Oh, it's elevator music. Get it? Because we're in hell. <laughs> oh, crap. We doggy in the... Oh, I got hit again. It's probably going to be the theme of the day. Just getting hit out of the blue. Oh. Nope. Probably not. Oh! That was... I think I timed that one perfectly. Uh, trust me, I won't let it go to my head. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Earthworm Jim. Let's do this. Do you think he goes by Earthworm Jim or just Jim? 
Maybe they're like calling me Human Piva. Oh yeah. Oh, so you actually have to run on these little timing issue thing. Oh, no. No. Oh, I just fell all the way back to the beginning of the level. Oh man. What the heck? Get it? Come on, get it? So the nice thing is the bad guys don't appear to uh, respawn, which is kind of nice. You just gotta do all the jumps again. And on the platformer, sometimes the jumps kill you more than... Oh my gosh. Okay, and focus. Here we go. Okay, big jump, big jump, Jim. No! Why didn't you... Oh. Alright, one more time. Oops. So that little nuclear... Nucleus thing, that little atom, that's your life. Apparently there was a radioactive thing in the suit and mutated Earthworm Jim or something. I don't remember. Like I said, what the heck was that? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Final try. Huh, got it. Oh my gosh. We did it. Okay, I remember this one. So there's these doors. That you gotta whip this. See? A lawyer. Oh, that's funny. Sorry for all my lawyer friends out there, but I didn't make the game. I just play them. <laughs> oh, that was... This guy's gonna stand a snowman's chance in heck? Huh? I think I did better whipping them. There we go. Oh, almost died. Which shouldn't be surprising at this point. You guys have seen me play. Of that? Oh, come on. Wow. This game's just all like, oh, hey, you got full life? Not for long. I remember being a lot better at this when I was younger. Anyone else have that? I talk about playing like Super Mario Brothers and beating it, and then I do a let's play on it, and I can't do anything with it. Oh. oh, okay, I get it. This is like a rising platform. Oh, never mind, I still fail. Apparently, Jim doesn't like those. Oh, I see. It's those uh, little powered... Oh, come on, Jim. Jump when you tell him. Checking everything out. I can't see anything. I knew it. I just knew it. There would be a bad guy down here.
I can almost guarantee you that... Oh, that that door will hurt you if it falls on you, because that's what these guys did. They made this game so brutally hard. It's actually pretty long. Um, I think there's quite a few levels. Why would they do that? There's quite a few levels in it. Oh, yep, the door's hurt. We're, we're going to try to beat the cat today. If we can do that, I'm going to be pretty happy. Ugh. The hard thing is I want to get away from editing a bunch of videos and spending a lot of time doing that. I'd rather spend time playing the games than, you know, editing videos about it. That's what I used to do uh, years ago. I would record an hour of gameplay footage and cut it down to, you know, 10 minutes. And I spent more time doing that. Got it. Oh, I thought I had to do it again. Oof. They didn't like that. Do not fall, Jim. Take it. Hey, we did it! Nope, oh, come on. What the heck? Oh no! Look at this cat. Oh, I see it's blowing up the little little pedestal it's standing on every time I jump over it. How many times I gotta do it? But anyway. I can't go anywhere. Quit cleaning yourself and shoot at me. It's funny that a cat is the ruler of heck. At least in this... Oh, I just got hit. Oh. Ow. Hello. Just jump right in. There we go. There we go. Now we're all super... Oh, finish in. Where's he going? Okay. Oh. Fast on that, holy cow. Oh, he's got nine lives, I get it. Just just fire blankly into the sky. Ah! He scratched me. Oh, he did it again. Dang it, come on. Come on, 15%. Come on. Got you that time. Number seven. Man, that seventh life was hard. That'd be pretty quick. Yeah, like a half a second. Got him. Woo! Onto the rocket ship. Anyway, I was going back to uh, what I was saying about editing the games is... I don't want to spend time editing the game, so on games I can't save on, we're just going to play for 20, 20 minutes or whatever. And take the shield. So you can actually use the shield to bump the crow or stop, uh, stop asteroids. No, the shield don't last that long. There we go. <laughs> oh, I missed it. I just noticed that there's a little bar on the side. I probably knew that, like, you know, 20 years ago, but... But yeah, on games that you can't save on, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, um, you know, we'll just play until we're done, and, you know, if we wanna see more of it, and I'll figure out what to do. I mean, I could do save states on the emulators, but that just feels cheap and wrong. I'm not going to sit and do like a two and a half, four hour playthrough. No one's going to watch that. So. I wouldn't even watch that. My buddy C-Rod over at Bigfoot Gaming, you know, he plays amazing games. Yeah. And, uh, 
a lot of times I just pop it on, just kind of watch it while I'm working on stuff and listen to him. And but even 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 he's not like Groovy. one of my favorite people in the world. I just get bored after ten minutes or so. So, and that's even my own videos. Like I watch them. I'm like, all right, I've already seen this. Okay, now this is the underwater level of Earthworm Gym. We're gonna go ahead and call it here. Um, if you want to see more Earthworm Gym or anything like that, or check out any games or have any requests, just go ahead and uh, you know, leave a comment. Say, hey, Piva, I want to watch this, and I will do my best to play it if I have it. If not, I will try to find it. Uh, all right, I get it, Jim. Apparently, he's wanting me. To wrap not oh, jeez you want me to wrap it up so on that note until next time <laughs> oh gosh don't shoot yourself in the face and bye bye